Hey everyone, Bloody Mal here, and we are back with Shadow Man. Just got some crazy revelations with getting some flame tattoo. And I actually, uh, the prophecy book that I read actually had some uh, extra content in it. It gives actually the whole story. And I think I'm going to finally get this out of the way and just go through this little book. And it gives, it gives me a little more questions of what the items I get and what they are, so I'm not so freaking clueless. So this episode is going to be a little bit of a short stop, and then we're going to go find some fire blocks. So, uh... Here we go. <clears throat> Les Cartes. Long before the men of shadow, creatures with souls of evil did descend upon the worlds. Immortals, they were led by the one who is many. He who bears the mouth of blood. After the longest of battles, he was defeated and banished to a place beyond the worlds. And the dark souls of his armies were sealed into Govi. And the Sisters of Blood were entrusted with the Govi, and for many lifetimes, the Dark Souls lay under their protection. And then, the one who is many did return from the place beyond worlds. Under his banner did he unite the madmen and killers, and they did build asylum in the world of the dead. After sending his minions throughout the world of the dead, he gathered the Dark Souls. That were not under the Sisters' protection. Using their dreaded power, he summoned the Five mortal man to do his bidding, and they built for him gateways of souls into the world of men. So the five did appear in a dream to the sorceress, and their lizard king did announce the apocalypse with the cries of a thousand men. And in her darkest hour the sorceress did call upon the man of shadow. And the serpent did guard the marrow gates until the shadow returned to the world of the dead, and thence did this serpent become his advisor. For the Man of Shadow did open the coffin gates, and for the first time in one hundred years, where the path of Shadow walked, the Man of Shadow did break the sister's spell on the Govi, and in taking the Dark Soul's power, he did unite it within him. With greater powers, the Man of Shadow finally entered Asylum, and did find the gateways within that led to the world of men, and he passed beyond them, and did confront the five, but in the broad light of day did he fall to them. And the sorceress fell into a deep trance, her powers exhausted, and a shadow did fall upon the world of men. And Legion took the power of the Dark Souls onto him. The end. Kind of bitter. I guess that's what happened before. Baton. That blade which pierces the ether and carries the spirit through it. Flambeu. Bearer of the voodoo flame. Maratu. That which sounds the Rada drums. Calabash, destroyer of the sacred Vivi. Asan, sacred rattle of the Mambo. Poing, to climb the falls of blood. Insigni, that which protects. Eclipser, the bringer of night, releasing the shadow into the world of men. El Sole, brother's son. La Lune, sister moon. La Lame, the power that binds. Only the most powerful may read this Book of Shadows, the Book of Secrets. The sacred marks given in trials by Les Securis de Sang as protection from the elemental fire, that he may grasp fire, yet feel no pain, touch her, that he may walk over burning coals, march her, that he may be consumed by flame, yet no harm shall come to him, Nagar. Offerings to the Loa on the altars of life, lying beyond the wasteland. One hundred kado made as an offering to the Loa shall increase the strength of a man's spirit. <coughs> and that's all it has. Nettie's file has information on the, um, the five, the We Are Many people. What I think I'm going to do with that is that wait until I actually go into when I fight that particular person, whenever I can do that, I'll read their file before fighting them. I think that's a good way. So that's enough time spent reading. I wanted to get that out of the way, and that gives me a lot more information. So our main, main mission, it appears to be, is getting, to, is getting the uh, Eclipser complete so we can... Um... Well, so we can... Uh... So we can what? So we can turn into Shadow Man in the world and fucking fuck their days up, that's what. So it, so it was kind of cool that I showed that we could die and that we, can, we couldn't do anything in the, um, 
fighting the god, the uh, madman. It was kind of a, I kind of like went with the prophecy almost that I couldn't do it. That's kind of, kind of a little cool uh, effect that I didn't really intend to do. So, uh, cool stuff. I believe there was a fire block over here. I could be wrong. Yes, there is. Let's do it. Nice. I like going to Gobies. Awesome shit. Very nice. The more the better, baby. And a Kato. Not bad. Alright. Well, I mean, surely, 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 surely one of these places has to lead to um, some sort of area to go. Uh, I would love to have blood waterfall climbing, too. There's a good many places there. Now, as for any more fire blocks in this area, I'm not completely certain. Um, I can always go back and check if there's, because it's probably just Dark Souls. So what we're going to do is actually go to... We could go to the Temple of Fire, but we just went there. So let's check the Pass of Shadow. I know there's a block there. Pretty good, pretty cool story. So basically, the previous Shadow Man, which I make maybe maybe Maxim, might be Maxim St. James, um, wasn't able to uh, do it because he fell in the daylight, and so he blocked the Pass of Shadow. So the uh, Legion Got it. Um, couldn't find the Dark Souls as easily, and that's why the Dark Souls are still scattered around. Really, really nice, tightly knitted story, man. Really nice. Okay, this thing has been, this is the one I've been looking at the entire fucking game. Give me something good. Aha, uh -huh. well, whatever. He says aha, uh -huh. can't complain about that. Give me. Four blocks. Ooh, yeah, baby. So how many, how many blocks did I need to get to get that? Fifteen only, wow. We now have four freaking blocks, baby. The thing is, though, I don't know if there's a four block purple block anywhere. I really can't remember that. <laughs> so, um, I can give a quick look. I think I need five and six for the ones I remember. I believe there's also one deeply within the wasteland going towards the Temple of Life. Or was that the fire? Oh, man. Oh, no. Wow, there's a lot of people now in here. What the hell? Oh, yeah, you need, you need way more than that. Let's get out of here. You need way more than I thought. Um, well, unfortunately, Temple of Fire Toucher is actually the only place left with fire blocks already. <laughs> but... I might have to find like a four blocker somewhere. Got it. And there were paths down there with Kato, but I'm not too worried about that j right now. I can always go back, so uh, fuck that shit. Um, I think there was a place with fire seams somewhere else, but I just there's no way I can remember where. Okay, let's check the fire blocks. I know there's one at the very very tippy top. And there's one somewhere else. Uh, somewhere. <laughs> I'm not entirely positive where now. It kind of sucks. I had this big fucking thing of where all these were. And now I have no idea. <laughs> oh well, four blocks made. That might be what I have to do next. But hey, there is. And I know there's one more. I can, there's only one more block I can think of, which scares me. Because it's probably just going to be a Govi. Which is, un which is not bad, because that's what I'm supposed to be getting, but, uh, you know. That's a pretty intense room for a Govi. Whoa. This looks a little bit more intense than just a Govi. Wouldn't you say? And you need four to open it. How bloody perfect. So before I flip and forget, let's do the last fire block I know. That is what I'm talking about. Thank you. I wanted an actual another area. That is what I need right now. <laughs> so good. Good stuff. Whoa! Fire flakes. Fire fudge fogada. Shugadigadiga. Shigadiga. 
Okay, um... Yes, I know where, I know where to go. Too fucking good, man. Too fucking good. Oh, I'm just too strong for you anymore, aren't I? Holy shit. Man, that baton is strong. I believe there should be a dark area with a fire block. I'm pretty sure there's a fire block right... Oh, wait a minute! Nope. I thought there was a fire block in here. Oh, it must not have been a fire block, but a fire... tapestry. <laughs> okay. Alright, well, whatever. I believe that this actually might be the only four. I think every other coffin gate I found was more than four. I really do. So, um... Let us stop fucking talking, and let us just continue to the four column... column gate... coffin gate land. Joy. Blood. Pure power. I am the Lord of Desire. What scares me is I got almost every single Dark Soul I could come by, and I just got enough. My last Dark Soul gave me that. Oh, there's something here. It's an item already. And a lot of blood waterfalls. Beautiful. This should be yes, I know it is. I can tell by the looks of it. Poingy, right? Poingy? Yep, I got Poingy, or whatever it's called. G. I don't know how to pronounce that type. I don't know if it's like if it's kind of like African or like. Wow! Look at that. That is so weird. The power to climb blood waterfalls. Now that is such a unique like concept. Like, it's nothing like you think. Like, oh, you can climb mountains. You, no, you can climb blood waterfalls. So there's a place right here that I can go. There is um, a waterfall. In the beginning of this Temple of Fire, there is a blood waterfall near the very beginning of the game. Oh, wow, I gotta make a jump for that, I guess. Oh, oh never mind, this is what I was talking about. So there's, there's a blood waterfall in the beginning of the game, and there's a blood waterfall in the Temple of Fire. And there are probably other places, but I really can't recall. Oh, there's also some in the Wasteland. That's the place I can think of. Nice. A little slow, but I mean, it's pretty freaking awesome. Weird looking, too. Well, we've got those hand in hand. After you get the after you get the toucher fire trial, things kind of just swarm with you, don't they? All right, we gotta really jump for this. Ha! Whew. Don't mind if I do. It's like some sort of like relic or something, like wrapped around my hand or something. It looks really neat. Hey, fuck you, buddy. I got supercharged, baby. I'm starting to look really fucking badass. It's cool you can look badass while I don't have to get a single armor. I just got jeans, and I look at this amazing. That's why this game's crazy, because you just got... All I have is jeans. <laughs> uh, okay, now I know where I am. Alright. I'm really curious where this is going to lead me. Because this might lead to the next Temple of Fire. I mean, you might be able to beat this game really quick, but you just... The whole part of it is, like, exploring and getting everything, which I'm actually pretty okay with, because that's actually pretty freaking sweet, too. No fishy, fuck you! Ouch, ouch! I'm okay, I got another hit point plus. That really helps, because it's not like... It's not like I just only got one hit point. Like, some things don't take entire hit points, so... Oh my god, that's really hurting them. Ow, oh, stop it! Let me up! Fuck your dicks. Look, blood waterfall? Blood waterfall, baby. Which one first? Let's go left. So freaking weird and awesome, man. It's just so neat. Freaking cool, man. Oh, cool. What do we got? Oh, that's it! 
I mean, it is too Cato, but still. What's over there? A pathway? I think so. Shit. Didn't think that through, did I? Fuck your bitch! Fuck your fishes! Fuck the fishes. Oh, God. Ugh. Oops. Okay, so you really can't be interrupted when climbing up this thing. Gotcha. It's one of my favorite types of gameplay. These, like, I'll just... Just for a lack of a better word, just Metroid-type games where you get an item and you can return later to, like, get secrets, more health, way to go. I just love it. Non-linear type of style. Because I was in the Asylum for the first part of this game, and really, I didn't have... I don't even... Have, well, I might have had to visit there because you get enough Govi. So, but still. Like, you go there and you really can't do anything, and then this happens. So this is a lot different than just Tukato, isn't it? Yes, it is. Oh, this is this place. I know where I am. Aren't I a fucking bitch that I'm complaining about that? <laughs> Oh wow, that doesn't travel too fat far, that move, but it's strong as hell. Oh yeah! Okay. Well, that goes there. That's all the blue waterfalls I can think of right there. So let's go to the very beginning of the game. There's Morrow Gates there. I know there are. Oh, there, there are. <laughs> yep, there's a Govi right there. Very nice. Let's kill these fuckers, though, because they're going to be assholes to me. They're actually one of the more dangerous enemies in the game if you leave them if you leave them alone, because they fucking blow your face off. There we go. Well, he can't really aim too well when he's in the water there. Climb up. Don't mind if I do, baby. Great, Great indeed. Okay, nothing back here. Ooh, and what's over here? I see something. I've seen this at the beginning of the very beginning of the game, really. Holy shit, you need you need complete shadow power? Holy fuck. What is in there? That could lead to like, well I wouldn't say the last area of the game because I think it's in the asylum, but that could lead to like one of the last areas of the game. Or, or, or like one of the, like, I don't know, I have no idea. Fuck, that's weird. No. Nope. Oh man, got a little shadow gun. Okay, so that calabash thing I saw in the um, prophecy files looks like that little symbol Michael, on the floor. Over here. What? What do you want? Did I mess it up by hitting you? You said Michael, get your ass over here. Ah, what the hell are you playing at, Jesus? Well, fine then. Fuck you. I believe we have a couple blo more blood waterfalls to check, and that's then. Uh, oh no, I'm lost again. <laughs> No, no, I'm not. There's a, there's, yeah, there's a few blood waterfalls, and if they don't lead to anything else, I'm screwed. But I think the way this game handles, I think, as long as you explore a good handle of your things, you should be good. Nope. And there's those drums. Those are drums that you can beat, I bet. Ah. I actually want to go this whole entire way, because I don't know where the, um... I don't know where uh, my shit is, you know? Hey, fuck you! There's definitely more enemies here now. Blood waterfall, baby. Shit. Yeah, I'm saying the same thing, buddy. There we go. Climb we go. Oh, you can climb really slowly to the left and right too, huh? Weird. 
All right, can't complain. Excellent, he says. Nice, 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 nice. All right, I think we're going to end it here. Got a nice little lesson of the entire lore of Shadow Man, basically. And we got a um, another, um, I um, I guess, gear piece of gear. We'll climb below waterfalls. We're going to climb the last bit of waterfalls I know next time. So see you guys later.